here with Ricky Johnson of Red Bull, and we are talking about Red Bull Frozen Rush, which is coming up again this year, second year in a row. Thanks for coming back. Awesome to be here. What's great is this is part of the Red Bull Signature Series. Um, it's going to present the Frozen Rush here at uh, Sunday River. Mm -hmm. We ran last year. I was fortunate enough to, to also win the inaugural event. Yeah. So we're back. It's going to be bigger and better, and we're running head-to-head -head this year. So this year what we've done is, is they've changed the format a little bit. We race side-by-side. Then as you go up, there's two different courses, a short loop and a long loop. So with the multiple laps, each guy has to run uh, in the first heat, two laps, second heat, four, and then the main event, six. So it's an even, so you have to run short, long, short, long, short, yep. long. And ideally, we come back together for the last third of the lap and race door to door. And hopefully across we can the keep, the, door, keep yeah. the doors on the right. truck right. as we cross the finish line. On the hill, you need all wheels pushing. Yeah, but tell me a little bit about racing sand, which is what you do mostly during the year, versus the snow. How is it different? Is it hard that you guys don't really get to train on that? Right, well, you got a couple elements here that we're not used to. One is we're, we're racing on a hill. So mm -hmm. it, with the spikes, they, they get great, great traction. We can fly up the hills. When you come down, you want to stop. Even though you got the spikes, when, as soon as you lock up the brakes, they fill up with snow mm -hmm. and you start to hydroplane on the snow. So you have to, just like skis, always find an edge. So you'll see a driver throwing it sideways, hitting the gas that's blowing the snow out of the spikes mm -hmm. to get traction to create that stopping force but uh, when we run in the in the mud in the, it's very similar to the snow when it gets really soupy like at the beginning of the races they want to water the track so that it's not too dusty but as that goes away the traction becomes better and better a lot like driving on the ice with the spikes mm -hmm. so it there are certain things but you have to learn what's what and, right. But the biggest problem here is with snow, it's all white. How do you know what's hard? Right. And how do you know, you know, a lot of people that have skied and stuff, they know what it's like. They go down, they hit a patch of ice, they don't see it, or they hit some powder. Mm -hmm. In a truck going, we were going 90 miles an hour last year. Right. The next thing you know, boom, you're on yeah. the face of a jump or right. you're hitting some ice yeah. and stuff like that. So it's always changing. And each guy, every time he's in the truck, every lap, every turn is learning more and more. Last year, we brought all the competitors, all the top guys in the world, and it went off it went off awesome. But this year it's gonna be different with, with the running head to head with the vision. That's the problem. These yeah. things spit out so much, you know, it's a snow blower. And in it's front not of like you. you have windshield wipers, right? No windshield <laughs> wipers. This is your windshield wiper right. like this back yeah. and forth. And so we're dealing with the cold elements, the fogging of, of the shields and things like that. So there's certain elements that we're not used to, mm -hmm. but I think everyone will have them figured out. Well, I've, you got me all suited up here with a helmet and we got the studded tires on, so should we take a ride? I said let's go for a spin. All right, let's do it.